Hi guys, this is Mike from Rockville. I'm here today with the new RW8CA. It's our all-in-one compact powered subwoofer. As you can see, this thing is super small. It's very light, but it pumps out a lot of bass. Check out this next video for more information. This unit comes equipped with an eight inch slim high output rock roll subwoofer and a custom molded front grill with a built-in 600 watt powered amplifier. Amplifiers come with a PWM MOSFET power supply fully equipped with ground, remote, and power at 12 volts. On the side of each unit, you will find low level RCA input, high level speaker level inputs, adjustable input sensitivity for gains, bass boost variable controlled from 0 to 18 dB, 45 Hertz, low pass filter 50 to 150 Hertz, phase shift of 0 to 180 degrees, and also an advanced auto turn on feature. This system has a thermal protection unit and a soft delayed remote turn on Use the supplied bass knob to have full control of your bass in the driver's seat. This unit comes with removable rubber isolating mounting legs for a secure and easy fit. Rockville's active underseat sub is ultra slim to fit almost anywhere in your car. This unit measures 2.7 inches high. 12.4 inches long and only 11 inches wide.
consider a subwoofer, a dedicated speaker that handles frequencies below 200 hertz, meaning fewer than 200 sound waves per second. The bass. But subwoofers are not for shaking the windows and vibrating your spleen, although in certain circumstances, that would be nice. Fact is, good subwoofers can help your car stereo with high frequency sound too. How? Subwoofers play the low frequencies so the car's smaller speakers don't have to. Result? The little tweeters can focus on their specialty, the upper register. Most subwoofers come in three sizes, eight, 10, and 12 inches. Some have the amplifier built in, but some don't. Make sure you get an amp if your sub doesn't have one. Now match your sub to your music preference. A smaller sub is often in a wooden box with a speaker on one end, fits in the trunk or under a seat, gives you tight, accurate bass, but needs a powerful amp to drive it. Type two, bigger ported subwoofers. Holes or vents let out more of the speaker's sound, but can be a little boomier. Three, and often the biggest, a subwoofer sealed in a box with a plexiglass cover. Hi, I'm Steve Teresi, the Director of Training and Technical Services for JL Audio. Right now I'm sitting on a speaker manufacturing area. We're going to talk about our W6V3 subwoofers. This is the latest version of uh, one of our best-selling speakers. And, oh, wow. That's a pretty, pretty massive speaker in and of itself. Take a look at the back end there. We're going to talk a little bit about our PVAC, our uh, Pole Vented Airflow Control Technology. It's a new patent that we're using on, on this product as well as some of the other technologies that go into what makes this a really special speaker. And I gotta tell you, listening to this product, oh yeah, it is one of the best sounding speakers I've ever heard. Um, it's a very exciting product. I do encourage you to make sure you use the recommended airspace for each one of them. The 12 inch version like this one here is recommended for a one cubic foot sealed box or a 1.3 cubic foot ported box. The 10 inch version is recommended for sealed boxes at a 0.55 cubic feet and ported boxes at about one cubic foot. Both speakers have the highest X-Max of any previous version of the W6s. We're at 0.75 inches of linear X-Max, which is pretty massive. Now, the benefit to that, of course, is not only just in terms of output, but you can really play low frequency better than ever before. And this speaker here, I have the opportunity to take apart and show what's going on on the inside. So I can remove these things and kind of show the two-part cone assembly that we have. And on the inside, let me pull this out. You can see the massive voice coil that we have inside there. This is a, this is pretty pretty impressive coil here, in terms of the height of it and the number of windings. Um, rated power handling on these speakers is 600 watts, and we would recommend getting as close to that as possible in the recommended boxes. The pole venting that you see on the back, this PVAC, allows airflow to come in through the center of the speaker, and on the inside, it'll cool the inside of the voice coil. There's a number of things that's really good about that. Most obvious is it can help prevent the voice coil from burning, but more important than that is it also makes it sound much better at higher power levels by reducing something known as power compression issues. Uh, the proof is in the pudding, so I do encourage you to go ahead and listen to it at those higher volumes carefully, make sure everything's set properly, and you'll, you'll really get to enjoy what makes the W6V3 such a special product. W6V3s also feature DMA, which is dynamic motor analysis, which is a fancy way of saying that we've really tightened up the motor system to give you the best and sound quality and overall performance. Another technology that's very important is our elevated frame cooling system, which may be difficult to see on the video, but basically it allows airflow to come in between the frame and the top plate of the speaker and blow cool air right across the voice coil. And again, a cool voice coil is a happy voice coil, so this is what we're looking for. To wrap the whole thing up, it's a beautiful package. Now we're using a, a much larger rubber surround than ever before. It improves durability and allows for the, the additional excursion capability of the driver. And it's packaged in a nice satin finish frame and a beautiful finish on the back plate as well. So to summarize, the W6V3's version three is our best sounding, best looking W6 to date. I hope you enjoy it. Again, Steve Teresi, Director of Training and Technical Services for JL Audio. Thanks for watching.